Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here. This Sunday is Halloween, a special night where you gather around wearing your favorite costumes that you love to choose, go out door to door for trick or treats to grab all the goodies you want, then come to your friends or family's uh, Halloween party to hang around and dance to some Halloween music have a nice uh, Halloween feast, you know, with all the, the treats that they have included, watch some horror films, <laughs> and get quite a scare with all the, the ghosts, goblins, ghouls, you know, witches, monsters around, <laughs> you name it. But it wouldn't be Halloween without the Grinch. And that's what I'm going to be reviewing today. It's the Dr. Seuss special that came out on October 28th, 1977 that aired on ABC originally called Halloween is Grinch Night. It's a prequel to How the Grinch Stole Christmas which this time around we got Hans Connery to take over as the voice of the Grinch. Has also done the narration as well after Boris Koloff had became deceased. You know, the horror legend as we all know for many films as possible. So, but they did brought back uh, Furl Ravenscroft uh, to provide all the singing vocals of any song that's composed by Sesame Street composer Joe Raposo. Yeah. And it is quite different from the Christmas special, as we all know and love. Because it's done by the the Patty and Freeling animation team that created a very eerie and creepy vibe to the most haunting special of them all. A story where down in Whoville, where everyone's is in a major lockdown due to a sour sweet wind that's blowing around that wouldn't want to go outside for six dollars and sixty cents. So that means the, Gr the Grinch is going to go down from his mountain all the way on top. He's going to bring in with his, his dog, Max, to go down and spend the entire Halloween night do whatever he wants, you know, scare everyone. <laughs> you know, bring in all the monsters to appear. <laughs> okay. But let's begin. Stars Hans Conried, once again, Gary Shapiro, Henry Gibson, Hal Smith, Jack D. Leon, Irene Tadro, June Fourway, Mel Blank, Paul Freeze, Pearl Ravenscroft, and the Middleman. <laughs> That's how they're called, because they did the chorus. Yep, it's written by Dr. Seuss himself um, under Ted Gazelle, and it's directed by Gerald Baldwin. The special begins set at Whoville, where the entire town of all the Who's are in a major lockdown with due to a sour sweet wind that blows and all the chain events have occurred that's caused by the green grumps and the hawking quacks to arouse the Grinch into descending to Whoville in his pedophernalia wagon joining in with his pal Max the dog to wreak havoc throughout the entire town. So of course, they're all in a major lockdown and they wouldn't want to be able to go outside for six dollars and sixty cents. <laughs> That's part of the song. Because they dread the smell of the wind as an omen that's going to attack them. Of course, we do meet this one Who family uh, where we have the husband and wife uh, 
Josiah and Moriah, along with um, two brothers and sisters. They're very young. I don't know who their names are, but it doesn't quite explain much. But there is another young boy in their family named Yigariah, who is a young who, a smart, intelligent one with extematism, and who goes out for a euphemism, and he blows it away. So he goes outside. He runs into the Grinch as he was picking all the brickles out of his fur because he accidentally uh, crashed from his wagon just when he, he failed to attempt to hunt down the last Ruzzy Wazoo. So he decided to get you. So he decided to get uh, Yukariya a spook tour, which is a brief one. So that way, you know, he could scare him off. But unfortunately, he's he thinks that because he's so young, he's too small to waste his entire time to scare the entire um, Who's down at Whoville. You know, just continue to go on his journey, his quest to scare everyone, but all the other monsters and, and all. Uh, meanwhile, Yukariah decided that he must stall the Grinch in order to save the entire town. Catching up onto Grinch's wagon, which the Grinch decided to give Yukariah the spook tour. And that's where Yukariah is being drawn directly into a surreal nightmare with all those monsters uh, appearing and all the spooks and all going from several directions here and there. But since he adores the spooks so much that it was just long enough for the sour sweet wind to die down, forcing the Grinch to abandon the trek and return straight back home, while Max leave the Grinch behind and decided to go directly to Yukariah. So now he'll be able to stay with him for now on. And now all the Who's are going to come back to this one particular day or even at night now Yukariya just came back home and he became a hero but the Grinch had lamented that he will miss that Grinch nightfall that he always wanted but he will be back but he'll hoping that the wind will come back when he finds a solace and of course, he does make a promise with that sinister laugh of his. Hell, he'll probably make him another promise when Christmas arrives, which I know he hates it so much. <laughs> Quite different from the original special again, but um, it's very enjoyable too. And it's perfect to watch on Halloween. Hans uh, Conry did a great job providing the voice of the Grinch. I mean, almost seemed like a dead ringer to Boris Paolo, but he's doing what he can to provide it. And the Grinch in this special is is quite as uh, sinister as before, but he can do whatever he can to get away from Yukariya. <laughs> but unfortunately he'll never get a chance to have the best night of his life. But hopefully he will. <laughs> um, and of course it was nice to see Max the dog again. I mean it does seem pretty similar to the scenes where he, he brings in the sleigh, you know, and, and he always brings in his whip to you know, whip him so that way he'll run. But this time of course it's a Pelfamalia wagon that he has. <laughs> it has tons of stuff inside that brings this particular spook tour and all <laughs> to scare. The score is incredible. All done by Joe Guapozo. It has all these memorable songs such as I Wouldn't Want to Go Out at Night Like This, uh, The Grinch Nightfall, As the Grinch Creeks Ever Closer, 
even the the eyebrow sound. <laughs> yeah, where he begins to show his eyebrows and it moves around like a bat. The animation is completely surreal, gives it a creepy and dark vibe to it. Incredibly demented. But it had a lot of great details of the animation of all the characters, you know, all of them look exactly like the book. You know, we see the Grinch as well as um, Max and the rest of the Who's, you know, looking all furry and all. It's excellent. And it's nice that they have a young Who who's very smart and intelligent and becomes very heroic to begin to know who this Grinch really is. And it's beating him onto his particular sinister game right there. You know, just to save the whole town of all the who's around. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and poor Max. He was a wonderful dog. He was under the commands of the Grinch, you know, who he's using him as a slave. You know, because you know, he has to do everything he says. You can even hear his own thoughts with a song that's uh, sung by Heavy Gibson. Sounds almost exactly like Wilbur right there, but but he really wanted to escape from all that in his life. And he deserved better. So check this special out, you really will enjoy it. You can find the special on Blu-ray that's included on the How the Grinch Stole Christmas uh, special edition uh, Blu-ray release if you love the Grinch. So that's Halloween is Grinch Night and I give the special five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. Have a happy and safe Halloween and I'll see you later. Bye.